Good morning, adventurers. Hello there. We actually managed to get up bright and early today to get started, but we ended up having to go out and run some errands to get some tools for the day, and that's been taking a lot longer than we thought, mainly because there's about a million choices for every single tool. We need to get a stapler to staple the aluminum onto the wood. But which one do we get? Which one do you get? And then when you choose one, which staples do you get to go with it? Because they only go to very specific models yeah. and nothing seems to match. So we're getting this generic one here that kind of works with these generic staples that we see. If you missed our previous video, we started demo work on the interior of the RV finally. So we ended up actually ripping out the entire overhead cab and we are working on reframing that all. We also took up all the carpet inside, but basically we need a stapler to redo all the seals on the exterior through the aluminum into the wood. It's been a nightmare. We went through hand staplers, we went through electric staplers, and now we are onto a mnemonic stapler. Yeah. No, pneumatic. pneumatic. Dang it, every time. <laughs> Pretend like I didn't mess that up and I really know what I'm talking about. There's this single part of the frame of the overhead cab that I wanna do next to get the day started anyway. We have to do quite a few rip cuts, which are long cuts on the table saw. We've only done a couple cuts with the table saw so far, so we're still kind of working it out. We just have to cut this wood down to an angle so that it fits the contour of the overhead cab. And it was really hard to figure out the angle, but we figured it out. Math is hard though. <laughs> this is the angle we have to cut. So we had to measure what that angle was. Turns out it's a 30 degree angle. Now we know. Look at all the trash we've made. Y'all, this is all the stuff we've ripped out. So all this nasty carpet, a bunch of rotten wood and stuff. And this stuff has just been haunting us for the last week. Yeah, even this thing, our old uh, chairs yeah. from inside. And a bunch of other junk that we need to get rid of. The guy who actually does the trash service here at my parents' house will come with a big trailer and haul all your junk out. And we've been trying to get him to come for like two weeks now. Finally, today he's coming. He should be here any minute. Yes. It's gonna feel so get good this to get stuff this out of, out of my life. <laughs> It is the moment of truth for the first window. We are finally ready to put it back in. So Eric framed out the inside. We have it all screwed into place and we've put this awesome tape all around. So on the one side, it's the sticky like sealant and on the other side, it's fleece, I fleece think. which is supposed to apparently when we put our adhesive on here, it'll make it stick extra yeah. well and it's going to be super waterproof yes. that's the hope so we have that's the first barrier for water yeah this is the window that's going to go in there and this is four strips of butyl tape which is just a ceiling tape that goes around the outside that's going to go right on there and then be screwed in and then we're going to use um a caulk style sealant on the outside and no water's getting into this rig y'all yep and then everything is beautiful and perfect and we just have to do that about one, Ten two, three, times? four, five, six, seven, about seven more times. Seven more times. Yay! <laughs> Whoa, jeez. This window is going in, y'all, whether we're doing it the right way or not. Okay, so we gotta kinda line the screws up Just before. Right there. This is my brother on the other side. He actually came to help us today, in case you're wondering who this stranger is. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he's pretty handy. <laughs> so he can do all this stuff instead of me. Window is officially in. We are just making some nice little touches around the outside so that it looks really clean. And now our next project is we have taken off this, uh, I guess this seam. Yeah, it's like from, a trim piece. Yeah, from the outside, holding the joining pieces of aluminum from the front and the side together. The plan is to clean all this out, more of this lovely butyl tape. It's really thick as you can see yeah. and like nasty. But what's cool about this stuff is that it, it does, it stays pliable. Yeah. So you can actually just get it up pretty easily. So it looks a lot messier than it actually is. So it comes off pretty easily. And then we found mineral spirits actually takes off the rest of the goo that doesn't quite come off when you scrape it. So believe it or not, you can get this sparkling clean. Well, we're gonna try our it's, best. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but things are actually happening today. Things that we have been, I don't know, trying to do for days now. And I'm so excited. Yeah, look how beautiful this is now. It is all scraped and cleaned and nice and off-white. She's hard. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Oh, that's going. Yeah. Oh, oh 
Oh. Whoopsie. It's such tight quarters here. <laughs> That'll do it. That is awesome. Check this out. We have reframed in this entire section here. So all this is fresh wood. Oh yeah, just like new, better than new actually. All right, y'all. I can't remember what the last thing we filmed was, but this just is the end of this day. Cursing and trying to not mess everything up. Yes, <laughs> but we did manage to get a bunch of the new wood frame into the overhead cab. It is mm -hmm. looking very nice. Will we be able to screw it and jig it into place? I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned so, for that. Today's Friday. There is the rain coming on Sunday. So we have one more day to try to get our front all patched up and I yeah. don't know. We'll see if we do it in time. And if we can't do it, we have a full cover that goes over it. So we're just gonna have to cover this whole thing. Man, it's in such disarray right now. Look at this trash we've made, you guys. But we have a much deserved beer. Allison's brother, Adam, went out and got it for us. Put it all in a cooler. <laughs> my brother's over here chilling. I don't know if we properly introduced you, but this is my brother, Brian. I've been here. on there before. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Thanks Cheers. for helping today. No problem. Adam got done working on his van earlier, so he's been watching us, yeah. giving us instructions, keeping the wasps away. Yeah. He's literally <laughs> sitting here and just yelling obscenities to us while we're working in there. <laughs> all right. We'll see you tomorrow. We got that window out of there, finally. Oh my gosh, that was hard. <laughs> this is one that needs to be completely replaced because they had put this tinting on it and that's all destroyed. Mm. Gunked up in the corners here. The frame is all nasty and corroded and rusted out. Oh, it is, ugh, disgusting. Yeah. So the rest of the window seemed pretty good, but this one up here has got to go. We've been trying to figure out a solution. We'll probably have to get a custom window built for it or yeah. something, but hopefully that will mean no more leaking. Today is the day, you guys. We are framing in hopefully all of this overhead cab, finally. So you can see all this fresh wood that we've got. This was all very challenging, by the way. But what we're working on right now is we're just trying to get this fresh piece in here and some of this stuff is so difficult just to hold it in place while you're screwing it. So this is what we've rigged up. We've got pieces of cardboard here. We've got some cardboard in here to keep it away from this frame. Then it's clamped here. Then we have uh, the cardboard strips back here and someone's gonna hold right here while I screw in. And that way we can keep this nice and flush. Oh, Jesus. Can you hold in, drill? Yeah, maybe. I can put pressure here. Oopsie. <laughs> Off to a bad start on this one, you guys. This is so awkward. Maybe I can do it like this. I think this is it. This is the one. <laughs> oh yeah. Get out of there now. <laughs> Yay. Uh, that was a hard one. <laughs> Jeez. All for one screw. <laughs> one friggin' screw. Oh yeah. That's a good connection right there. Noise. Pocket holes, man. That is the way to go. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's a good or bad idea, but Eric's trusting me with a power tool. Yeah, and with a pretty awkward cut, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could do it. Easy peasy. Nailed the kid. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. I will take that. Nice. We just had a major breakthrough. I've been stressing about this stupid corner up here because I couldn't get it to line up, but check this out. Look at that beauty. We just had to really clamp it hard into place and just kind of pull the wood because it has a lot of give in it because of this little uh, joiner piece here. But we got this joint all lined up. Check that out. It may look a little strange because I have these shims in here, but the reason for that is that there was actually some kind of fiber paneling or something that was a fourth of an inch that ran through all this stuff. So I still have to account for that fourth of an inch. So I just put some uh, quarter inch paneling in here to give me that extra space. And now, voila, presto, beautiful corner. <laughs> I'm quite proud of this. He was so excited. He's like, I have to film this. It looks so yeah. good. This looks better than the original, yeah. I must say. Can I say? Our window is looking mighty fine, day two. Yeah, and don't pay attention to us bending all our aluminum. It should snap right back into place, <laughs> theoretically. We'll I see. The weather is coming. We just heard thunder off in the distance. I'm gonna pretend like it was just a car Maybe it was a train. So they some... put in some brand new train down there. Yeah. We're gonna hustle, get as much done as we can, and then probably <laughs> have to cover the whole thing. That was for sure thunder. Dang it! Still happy with the progress that we made yeah. before the rain. So that's gonna do it for part two. Sadly, we did not make as much progress as we wanted to. My brother Brian was supposed to show back up. 
He never showed today. Friggin' Brian, thanks a lot. Yeah, but he put in the hours yesterday, so I'm not gonna dog him for no. it. The rain already came for like five seconds and we were freaking out and we put this plastic thing up here and then as you can see, the rain went away. Now it's perfectly sun shining. Yeah, but there are supposed to be a lot of storms tonight. This is obviously not gonna hold through like wind and yeah. rain and stuff. So we have this handy thing. <laughs> We have a custom tarp for there you this. Go. Oh, thanks. Oh God, it's so heavy. Ugh. I hope it's waterproof. I mean, it should be, right? Yeah. So our plan is now to throw this over it for the night and hope that it doesn't leak into all of our fresh new wood. Oh, yeah. Yay. And you get to watch us bumble around and try to actually put this thing on because we've never done it before. Let's do it. It on more or less but geez that was kind of hard <laughs> definitely a bit of a learning curve with it that is gonna do it you guys <laughs> that's our sucked. beauty yes. <laughs> and or beast is covered up <laughs> uh. it was a little bit difficult but most of it was us figuring out how this thing even works but we'll do it better next time <laughs> yeah it'll be fine she's good for the night and that's all we need yeah. oh lord we might have to pause uh working on this for a bit because there's gonna just be some off and on bad weather next week so we may try to find some more local adventures to do or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like when we went to Cincinnati, we're just trying to figure it out right now. Definitely mm -hmm. lots more RV videos coming though, mm -hmm. do not worry. While we didn't get as much done as we wanted to, we did pretty much get most of the overhead cab framed out. It was a huge learning experience. I'm pretty happy with the work that we did there. I keep saying it's better than what was there before we did this. It's looking good, it's nice and clean. You guys, it smells so much better inside now with the carpet gone and all that rotten yeah, wood out there. The old there. musty smell is slowly Oh, fading it's away. so nice. We're still gonna have some more work to do on that and then we have some other projects we're gonna work on on the inside and that's probably where you're gonna see this beautiful orange beast next. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.